So as geologists, we classically describe the dance of continents using a Wilson plate tectonic cycle. And in such a scenario, convergence initiates when thermal equilibrium has been reached. But what if this condition of equilibrium is not respected and convergence initiates very soon after rifting? What is then the role of lithospheric inheritance, both structural and thermal, in orogenesis? I addressed those questions during my PhD thesis at the CRPG Nancy within the Orogen project, and here I'm summarizing my work about reconstructing early orogenic dynamics. Well, there are different ways to answer these questions, but there is one which interestingly allows for investigation of thermotectonic processes within the crust. This is low temperature thermochronology. And when you want to understand what's going on at the transition between rifting and collision, we are showing by numerical modeling that this tool can give one of the most insightful glimpses into exactly how are involved the very first pieces of crust to invert into the orogenic wedge. These are the distal margins. So we apply this tool, and in particular zircon helium thermochronology, in the northeastern Pyrenees, where basement of a distal margin is best preserved. And here we found that zircon helium dating documents the cooling history of the crustal block during the initiation and the early phase of Pyrenean convergence. We relate this signal to early inversion of the distal rifted margin, around 70 million years. But so this is 10 to 15 million years after the onset of convergence. And the question is, what happened in between? This drew a second study, but this time focused on the sedimentary detrital archive to be able to extend the thermal record back to the early stages of our genesis. And this required a new methodology that I developed, laser ablation double dating. And we show evidence for an earlier cooling signal, which is still synchronous with early convergence, but always associated with a rifting cooling signal. And this convergence signal is transferred to detritus in about 10 million years, which is four times faster than what it was until early Maastrichtian. So at a time when the ugly salvazine block is being tectonically inverted with little to no erosion further west, there is a region further east which is already exhuming and eroding rapidly. And so here is my contribution to the Erosion project and geology in general. I've been able to show that inherited drainage patterns established before convergence continued for at most 10 million years after the onset of convergence. It was then followed by progressive and accelerating unroofing of thermally reset rifted Pyrenean crust. This occurred through westward migration of inversion from slightly rifted and thermally non partially reset regions in the east to more strongly extended and thermally reset regions further west. More largely, this work shows that the eastern retrofallen preserves the full evolution of the Pyrenean orogen from extension to peak orogenesis. This work provides new evidence for dynamic coupling between range and fallen basins, and it contributes to the debate on the role of rift inheritance into early orogenic processes.